questions. Are you ready for the rapid fire <laughs> questions? <laughs> okay, sorry. Who is the best player you have ever played with? Holy. I know. The person who I play, I'm going to name two people. Yep. Um, the, the two people that I play the best with just through time and relationship on and off the court would be Tess Madgen and Mia Murray. I love this question. This is a great question. Is it fun to be you and how often do you enjoy your own company? <laughs> The marina. <laughs> it might have been, but I love that question. Um, it is. I do have a lot of chuckles to myself, <laughs> mostly at memes. Yeah. Um, I like sending memes to people. People uh, being me. Yeah. Actually, uh, I haven't sent you. There's a few goodies that I've got to yeah, send you. Go send um, there's one with like a white cat and it's like curled up and then someone's put like a mandarin in the middle of it. It looks like an egg. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. Um, yeah, honestly, I do have a pretty fun life, but like I said in the uh, main show, I do have my moments of, you know, my down moments and yep. I'm just working through that, but definitely like to have quick bounce backs and be vibrant and upbeat. So yes, it, it is fun. fun. It is fun to be you. What is your pregame routine? I used to be so superstitious. Like at the AIS, I'd be like, I have to listen to the same playlist the entire season, what? left sock, tape left, tape right, left sock, yes. right sock, right shoe, left shoe. Like I was so stupid. And then I was like, oh, wait, it doesn't matter if I do that or not because sometimes I play good and sometimes I play bad. <laughs> so it actually doesn't matter if I do that or not. So now I, I just, same thing. I just, um, yeah, I try and eat like a good carb loaded meal. Like I like pasta at the minute, the night before. Yeah. Game days, I don't like to eat a lot. I like to feel really light on my feet like a gazelle. <laughs> um, so I just carb load the night before. That's pretty much the only like routine, routine thing I do. Um, yeah, bit yeah. of coconut oil in the hair. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. But, yeah, nothing really crazy anymore. Pearl puts life in perspective too. Like I can't really be doing all these crazy superstitious stuff and she's like, Mum, like <laughs> yeah. put my singlet on. I'm ready to go to the game. <laughs> like, I am hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, how do you reset after a bad game? Um, I give myself the time after the game before I go to bed to embrace the loss, feel the hurt, and then I wake up the next morning and it's done. Yep. But then you have to go to training and then your coaches cut up video <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, gosh, darn it, I was over this um, yeah. and now i got to relive it. <laughs> um, but personally I like to just sleep and then wake up and be like, you know what, let me just have a protein shake and get the heck on with my day. Yeah, I kind of like that. Because I'm human and sometimes it happens. Yep. I like that. I like that. I still love this. Is it fun to be you? That, <laughs> that, that kind of gets me. Um, what would you say your favorite place that you've ever played is? Oh, this is an easy one because as an athlete, we're always away from home, always yeah. away from home. So when I say cans, it's because I'm with my family and like the little can, it's called the fish tank because the dolphins and the marlins play there. So yeah. we play the old fish tank yeah. um, and I just enjoy being home in all aspects of it. So playing at home because I'm hardly there. Okay, I love that. That's also mm. a good one. And then the last one um, I will ask is what is your favourite hobby outside of sport? And I'm going to say that you can't say hanging out with your daughter or your dogs. Oh, <laughs> that makes it all I do in life. <laughs> it's pretty hard. No, um, recently I got into that jewel art from Kmart. Oh. <laughs> And that is mind numbing. Yes. I love it. But like, I mean, the little like stick. Yeah, that was, yeah. that's, I haven't completed one yet. But I did in quarantine after the Olympics complete one. But now I've just recently got back into it. But that's pretty nice. Online shopping's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, so, and now, you know, in the WNBA, it's all about the fit. So I've got to, you know, get 40 fits organized yeah. for the season. Are you, so, are you going to get a stylist? Oh, honestly, Pearl will just get out what I'm going to wear before the game and I'll just go with what she goes with. No, I'll just probably rock some dad jeans, a bit of a crop top and some Burks, to be honest, no, just if, switch if it up. the orange Crocs aren't there on the oh first God. photo, I will be so disappointed. Sis, I've got zebra Crocs now. Oh, <laughs> it has the most amazing pair of bright orange carrot Crocs. Yeah. It's, it's pretty incredible. But now the zebra ones, I didn't even yeah, see those. zebra and with a hint of leopard on them, oh. so they might make an appearance. That would be amazing. At Crocs sponsorship on that Crocs way. AU thank you um, but I'm going to ask one more just like silly question what um, do you have pregame music that you listen to and what's the vibe uh, pregame music is nothing too like um, on the way to the game in the car it's nothing too crazy uh, I don't like to get overly stimulated before I get to the stadium it's yeah. more just like chill just a bit of a sing-along um, and then when I get there in the warm-ups, I like to have like some real like hardcore beats. Yeah, just some good like you know in the moment. I don't know, like a bit of Fat Man Scoop. No, <laughs> a bit of 
the DMX. No, yeah. no, no. I mean, they're DMX. okay. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But just like some good stuff that like it gets you hyped as you're warming up, you yeah. know, but not too hyped on the way. But then mm. when you're there, a bit of hype. Yeah. And has little pearly girl, has she gotten a George jersey yet? Has that She that definitely has. Probably could have used it when we were in Gippsland because I forgot my singlet. <laughs> to wear some number eight it was actually lily scanlon's and it was humongous i don't think she would have fit it at all i didn't bloody fit it but yeah she does have a little george singlet she's growing into it slowly but surely so yeah. one step at a time yes that that's it we're done Bazinga. and that's a wrap <laughs>